Hey guys, my name is Olaf Rolo and today we are going to be taking a look at the new NVIDIA features coming to Escape from Tarkov soon. Now, starting off with NVIDIA Reflex. This was announced this morning at the NVIDIA keynote for Computex 2021. And it was said that Reflex is coming soon to Escape from Tarkov. Now, what is Reflex? NVIDIA Reflex is a system that will reduce your input lag in your game meaning that for example if you have 100 milliseconds input lag it could maybe even half it to 50 milliseconds which would be really great for escape from tarkov reflex works best if you have a low frame rate meaning that if you're running at 140 fps or even higher than that or let's just say 100 plus fps the difference is not going to be that great at least from what we know so far. But if you run a lower FPS, which most people in Escape from Tarkov have pretty low FPS, you will get quite a big boost in input lag, or well, reduction in input lag, that is. Now, this means you can get this with every NVIDIA GPU going from 900 series and above, as far as I know. It might work below 900 series, but I'm not sure about that. All in all, the most results that you're going to get out of Reflex will be if you have an older GPU running at a lower frame rate, meaning that your game is GPU bottlenecked. Now, for a deeper explanation of the NVIDIA Reflex feature, you can go ahead and check out a Gamers Nexus video that they made, which gives you a really deep explanation of how it works and shows you some real-time data on testing it in different games that already have the feature. It will be coming to Escape from Tarkov soon, but as always, we don't know when that is, if it's going to be the 12.11 patch that is upcoming, or if it will be 12.12 .12 or even further down the line, you never know. NVIDIA DLSS has been another feature that has been announced for Escape from Tarkov previously. But, well, we know it's going to be coming very soon. They've said maybe 12.11, but honestly, from what we heard in the latest Clean podcast with Nikita, it sounded like some features have been removed from 12.11 to try to bring the patch out this summer. So honestly, I'm thinking they probably cut DLSS from the patch, but we never know. You know, it might still come with the patch. Now, before we start talking about DLSS, we have to talk about who can use it. And of course you need an NVIDIA graphics card, but not only that, you also need an RTX graphics card, which will be a problem for a lot of people. As exa for example, me personally, I only have a 1070, which means I don't get to use it. But if you have an RTX 20 series or 30 series, you will be able to use DLSS. And this would be a game changer because DLSS renders your game at, let's say, 720p instead of 1080p or 1080p instead of 1440p or whatever your resolution may be. It will render at a lower resolution and then use AI to upscale to a larger resolution, which will basically have the same image quality or slightly worse image quality than what you're used to but at the frame rate of the lower resolution, meaning that you will get a lot more FPS out of Escape from Tarkov, which is what we are all really looking for, as let's be honest, this game doesn't really run too great. So this will be really amazing if you have an RTX graphics card. If you don't, then well, you're kind of out of luck. And for me personally, I would love to have one, but let's just say I'm not gonna pay a thousand euros for a 3070 just because it's been scalped up. So we'll have to wait until GPUs are available again, which will probably only happen next year or maybe even further down the line. We just don't know. So yeah, it's kind of sad, but if you have a modern graphics card with RTX, then you should be really happy because you will get a boost in FPS and a large one at that. Now, the explanation that I just gave to you is quite simple, but this is a gaming channel and I don't want to bore you guys with boring explanations all day long. So if you want to know more about it, just look it up on the internet. There's a lot of content on it with different kind of games that have received it. War Thunder has it, Cyberpunk has it, a lot of modern games have it. Now to conclude these changes, if you have an AMD GPU, you're kind of out of luck because you're not really getting anything. But if you have an Nvidia graphics card, then you'll at least be able to use Reflex which should improve your input lag 
and if you have an RTX GPU, you can take advantage of both Reflex and DLSS. But for me personally, I would say DLSS is really the big thing coming to Tarkov because it should really improve the FPS that you're getting. To sum this up, guys, thank you for watching and please leave your, in the comments below how much FPS you are getting in Escape from Tarkov. Is it below 100? Is it below 60? Or is it even below 40? I've seen a lot of things, guys, and Tarkov really is a hard game to run. So don't be ashamed. Just leave your FPS down in the comments below, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out our Twitch channel. And have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching.